Hello and good afternoon. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you enjoy this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. I just pulled such a dodo move and my key to our apartment fell into the Stairmaster at the gym. That's what I get for doing the Stairmaster. And I had to get all of maintenance to come and take it apart. It wasn't as big of a deal as it sounds. Like they just like popped off the sides. Um, but there was four people that had to try to help me. So that is my afternoon. It's already four o'clock. Peter should be home soonish. So I am going to get dinner, I mean slash leftovers, ready for us before we go to Epcot. So this is just a little side dish to what we have for leftovers today. This is just cherry tomatoes, salt, pepper, garlic, some lime juice, and some olive oil. You could also use vinegar, just like a little tomato salad thing. And then cucumbers. The in underneath is the cream cheese that we got mixed with a little bit of water, garlic, and dill. Some people aren't into dill, but we both really like it. So it's like just like a little cream cheese dill dip with these like little crispy bagel bites. So it'll just be a little sneaky snack before we head out for the night. These are like summer staples in my family, like family parties or Wednesday lunch or just like summer day in the house um, and I haven't had it in a really long time. My mom has never made the tomato salad with um, lime juice I don't think but I just I absolutely love lime and so here's my first bite. It just tastes like summer. I love it. So today is what we're calling the Boardwalk Epcot Sandwich. And it's going to be one part Boardwalk right now, a middle little slice of juicy Epcot. We got a fast pass for Frozen and we're going to watch Illumination. And then toasted Boardwalk on the other side of that juicy Epcot for a Boardwalk Epcot Sandwich. because we need to go to a fire pit because we brought our vegan marshmallows over at the Yacht and Beach Club. And Sarah goes, hold on a second. I just gotta look at this here, Epcot. Guess what? Today, eight years ago, we started the Disney College program. Really? Today, eight years the ago? The 22nd, yeah. We met all our friends eight years ago Eight today. years ago today. I'm gonna point some pics. Wow. I just want to go swimming. But in that lake? Oh no, no, in the pools over here. Are you sure? All these, yes. Yeah, I'm scared of Florida ponds ever since I went swimming <laughs> in that one pond when Dom and Vic were here and then I thought I was going to have 17 diseases and bug infestations. Fun fact, Dom and Victoria's wedding is in 30 days. Well, we will we'll probably end up leaving four weeks from today. Like four weeks from this second, we'll be in Detroit. By and large, like a superstar is all we got you need. All need and so much more. I wish I was on vacation. I walked in and I texted the Earhearts a picture of that baby who falls asleep like, uh, say when you walk in the boardwalk and wish the Earhearts are here tenfold. They're going to be here soon. I've never ever looked up there. What? It's so breezy in here. Here's a game plan. Sarah's gonna read Harry Potter. I didn't think I'd get a chance. I thought Sarah was gonna strictly read when I was running, but we realized we had this relaxation time because we have 30 minutes before the campfire starts and we brought our dandies 
uh, marshmallows, which are the vegan marshmallows. Guess what it says on the back? Chicago vegan foods. What does that mean? Is that an alliance that we don't know about in Chicago? <laughs> we need to go. So I'm just gonna lay here like a lazy bum and say I was gonna educationally I read. I decided I might lay here too. Either way, marshmallows in 30. All done. Let's go to your favorite park. What? <laughs> One more real quick. Quick. I don't know what it is, but I feel like the sun is hitting everything like super majestically tonight. Hello. Good. How are you? Is it windy, so? Yeah, my hair keeps on falling off. <laughs> not like, not like falling off, but like about to. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Sarah just spotted something, and for once she spotted it with her poor eyes before I did. It's Eagle so eyes. So first of all, the Hawaii boots right there, but more importantly, cement brick buildings? Permanent? What? I have no idea what those are. Do you think they're for food and wine? I think they're forever. They are forever. I think they're for... Where's the, the beer garden going? I think that's where Club Cool is, which it's closed right now, isn't it? Club Cool? Yeah, close at eight. Oh. Does the spirit of Norway call to you? Ew. Established 2019. It's a new one. I can't. There hasn't been a booth in Norway in a long time. Oh gosh, the creator of the essence of Norway is here. Do you think he smells like the essence of Norway? Yes. Found some delicious treats. I kind of want to get this. Let me know down below if you've actually had linden berries and if I would love it. It says it's similar, similar to cranberries. cranberries. Yeah, these look yummy. They're like really thin and they're good. You can eat these. Oh man. These are so cute. When did this all happen? Nobody I if told all me. All the other countries have similar. Oh my gosh, if all the countries have those, we should get all of them. <laughs> When your name is Sarah Brookhart, what do you do? You grab a day of Fast Pass for Frozen Ever After. I always forget how much I love that. I think because internally, I'm still not okay that Norway's, that um, not Maelstrom's there. not there. But then I get on it and I'm like, oh, I really do love this ride. It was really well done. Yeah, the animatronics, the songs, the storyline. Just the feels, the emotions, the memories. Um, we're in the Germany Pavilion. Oh and I just like, do you think this is vegan or not? Because a, <laughs> a lot of gummies aren't. All right, but I just like how this vegan super big across and like couldn't have been more, more. simple in, in your face. Oh, these look good. Raspberry candies. Not bad, not bad. Look at that. Plain white teas, Sawyer Brown, Joey Grace Kelly, Joey Fatone, Tiffany Smash Mouth, Starship, Postmodern Jukebox, Blue October, Sugar Bye -bye. Ray, Taylor Dane, Kansas. 98 Degrees, Boyce Avenue, Southern Avenue, Kenny G. Uh, Wait, Boyce Avenue? Yeah. I I, I know. All the goods. This is a good year. We are in an acapella group at the end. We're going to be here a lot at each of the Where beach. should we watch tonight? I th I, either France or UK. We got a spot crooker way in the little corner of France. All I want to do is get a beignet. A beignet. Not a beignet. A uh, baguette. Baguette. A baguette. You want to go get one? Car little carbo, carbo bins before I go on my run. We got a sick spot. Right now, all to ourselves. It's a little off the beaten path. It's going to be a little bit blocked. But you know what? We got a checklist to achieve.
Peter's struggling hard. He does not want to run. He doesn't have to, but he thinks he's going to. And then take off tomorrow. It's a lot. Thing is like, I think I feel fine. It's I'm mentally not in it right now. It's so humid, but I have a lot of running this weekend. Saturday and Sunday, I'm running 10 and 20 miles. I'm supposed to run nine tomorrow. So like I already. But you made yourself run the nine. But I made myself run the nine. It's that on the schedule. So I may ditch that or make it shorter in preparation for the Saturday Sunday runs because I know like if I run all that and don't ease up or take a break I might be not feeling good or injured on Saturday or Sunday and I'd be really disappointed if I didn't do those two long runs. Yeah. I just want to go swimming and eat a cheese pizza. Yeah, that just sounds really, really nice. He's going on a run. He's so mad. I'm gonna go watch Hercules because that's what's playing. My fave. You'll be done before I know it. Why don't you just go do a three miler? Do a 5k. Do a quick 5k like Dad would. Dang! Slunder Boy here for real? What are you talking about? Of course he's real. So, I actually didn't end up watching Hercules for very long. Angela called me. Angela is our nephew's mom and a very, very, very dear friend of mine. And I got to talk to her and then the, uh, my nephews came home and I was able to FaceTime with them. So that was a really nice surprise. I just saw on Twitter that the big announcement that Disney was making at D23 is a documentary called One Day at Disney, which is like all of the parks, everything all around the world that happens like underneath Disney. They're doing a documentary of like what happens in one day with all the cast members, all the different roles and positions and projects. And I don't think it's as big as people, like I don't think that people realize how big that is, like a documentary, what goes into that. It's not a new theme park, it's not a huge renovation, but like that is a massive project. And that is really like what we actually just talked about yesterday. And Peter said he was gonna watch a YouTube video about like, a day in the life where it was like a YouTube video of one day all over the world, but it's the same thing, but one day at Disney. And I think it's really, really cool, and I think that people might be underwhelmed now. However, I think they're going to be really impressed with it once they see it, because the scale of what Disney puts on every day is incredible, and this, like, for this documentary to show it all, I think people are are really going to like it, so I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be on the Disney Plus streaming service. And yeah, so if you hadn't seen that on Twitter, that is the update. He did it. I did it. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I have two things to say. One, I raced the those darn friendship, friendship boats? boats again, but they were egging me on. It was kind of fun. And two, I, Sarah yells at me, and she doesn't yell at me, she never, yells, never yells at me. <laughs> Sarah corrects me and says I need to stop saying I'm not athletic or not an athlete because I am an athlete now, but I'm not used to being an athlete. So for anybody out there who is practicing or a little kid playing or an old kid playing, you gotta sometimes put your mind aside and listen, like know that, trust your body. Like I did not mentally, was not ready to do this run, but very quickly it was like, my legs know what they're doing. Like today, I just finished my 503rd mile in this year. Yeah. And doing that over this past what was it, eight months, my body knows how to run a couple miles. Yeah. So sometimes I just have to say, shut up and go out there and trust your legs because they got yeah. you. And it'll make a difference a different day. Yeah, when the, when everyone's watching me finish the 5K, 50K, and they're going to be like, oh my God, it's incredible. Or the dopey, it's an incredible. That's just a victory lap. This is where it's all made, mm -hmm. unfortunately, which yeah. is the hard part. But putting it in makes it all fun later. Mm -hmm. Because it started, because it started. What's up here? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I'll help you. You really have chips and salsa? Hey, sit, sit. Good girl. All right, today, August 22nd, only seven, eight, nine, nine days left in this apartment, which is just wild. The 22nd by Anonymous. When your life flashes before your eyes, make sure you've got plenty to watch. What did you see on the calendar? I have an appointment. Oh yeah, we go back to the fertility clinic. 
on Saturday morning to see about next steps, next cycle. So we may start shots as early as Saturday. Not shots. It's my next medicine. thing will be uh, medicine, oral medicine. Oral pills. medicine three times a day. But that'll but we'll get shots then would probably be what I think it was six days or ten days later. Ten days later. Ten days later. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>